Hey, good morning. Thanks for joining in. I'm Greg Pelican. I'm the marketing manager for Trek Bikes Florida. And I have three cool things for you today I'm going to share. So the first is we're going to build a Trek speed concept together. And the speed concept's been out for a year or two, but there's something really cool. Now you can only get this through Project One, but they have some icon paint schemes, and I'll show you those and we'll add them in. The second thing is do you know that there's actually 24 configurations of sizing for a speed concept? There's four actual sizes and there's six stem mass. And I'm gonna to explain to you how we use those and how we determine what the right stem mass is for you and why bike fitting is so important. Okay, and the third thing is by request, I've had a request to build a Amanda SLR. We're gonna do that as well. But before, we do that. Does anyone know what this is? This is a Bontrager Flare R. We're going to give away a Bontrager Flare R, and it's really simple. All you need to do is just message right in, make a comment right now, and let me know what you did for a workout this morning. And I'm going to pick one of the first 10. I have a number in my head, <laughs> the order of the sequence. And if you match that number, you get a Flare R. So just give me a little comment you know, what your workout was. I actually did a, a track workout running, so I'm sure there's lots of fit people out there doing your own workouts. Okay, so let's uh, get right to building a speed concept. So again, uh, I showed a little bit last week how we have a back-end system with Track that we use at each of our eight stores to build custom bikes for our customers. And today I picked the speed concept, which is the fastest tri bike on the market. And this is one of the six, there's actually uh, seven non-upgrade uh, color charges. So we can like pick any one of these uh, paint schemes, yellow, purple, and there's no additional cost for that uh, paint scheme. But what's new right now, and this is only as of last week, we have the new icon colors. So there's this also uh, emerald green color. This prismatic pearl is fantastic. Um, reflective, this actually changes color um, depending on the angle and to light between purple and blue. So this is really awesome looking. So let's pick that. So you can customize the bike and have it look any way you want. Not only from um, the colors, of course, we can get into the drivetrain. But before we do that, when you buy a speed concept, one of the stock ones that are offered, um, you get what's known as the UCI Lego Aero package. And what that means is there's no fairing underneath the bottom bracket, and there's a little shallower bar. And so if you took the full-blown Aero package, that's really what you should be using for triathlon racing. If we pick that, it's actually going to be more aerodynamic. And the only way to get that is actually through Project One right now. So it's a good reason to use Project One. If we go to Drivetrain, we have lots of great drivetrain options from Dora Ace to Red to ETAP. And I think a popular one might be upgrading from regular Ultegra to Ultegra DI2. Get electronic shifting there. And then something I want to spend a little time on is actually the sizing of the bike. So we can have uh, pick one of the four sizes that the bike is offered in. Let's say um, in my case, I need large. But then what gets more complicated is actually the stem mass. So a stem mass actually um, changes the position, is built into the front end of the bike. It's not easily changed. So you really want to have the right stem mass to begin with when you get a speed concept because all the cables have to be rerun and it's a couple hundred dollar part to switch from the stem mass that it came with to, to the correct stem mass. And how do you actually find the correct size and the correct stem mass? Well, I'm going to switch right now to uh, the speed concept fitting guide. And if you have a competent fitter, um, 
they would understand how this works. But basically what's happening is we're taking the pad stack and reach. So where the pad is relative to the height of the bottom bracket and how far forward of the bottom bracket. And that gives us what we call pad X or pad Y measurements. And then from there, we take those measurements and it goes into a grid. And this is the full blown grid and chart of how it aligns. I have this a little bit better enlarged here. So what happens is, for example, if our stack height was 625 millimeters over the uh, bottom bracket and our reach, our X measurement was here, for example, we would know that we would need a medium frame and a medium far stem, and that would give us some adjustability. So um, it's really important to have a good bike fitter and do this ahead of time if you're getting this deep concept. And of course, offer that offer that charge of charge with any of the project one bikes that we sell. So let's go back to Dexter. I hope that was a a quick overview and at least kind of an awareness point of view that there's lots of permutations from a fitting point of view that you can make with a speed concept. Um, some other options on the drivetrain our components actually we haven't used is uh, the wheel option. So we have some of the great alias triple X wheel options. I would go with the deepest one. <laughs> you know, you want to be fast and you, you can handle the, the bike. These are very stable. So even though they're 60 millimeters deep, they're very stable in a crosswind and fast. So that would be a great option. And you can pick color choices with this. You can pick uh, tire choices. Another big important fit question for the speed concept is what do you want the extension to be? There's a short and a long. So that goes into the fitting. If you're a smaller person, you'd probably be going with the short. Um, and if you're long, or tall, you would be going with the longer version. So there's three versions of this. You have straight, um, S-bend, and then ergo bend, which is slightly up. That kind of keeps your hand in probably the most natural, you know, hand position. So that's all there really is to it. All the options of building a speed concept project one. So we would save these configurations that we picked. Um, and that would be our spec for the bike. And then when the bike comes in, I think it's, uh, you know, highly advisable that the bike fitter goes and confirms that the bar and the seat is to the X, Y position measurement. We always do a follow-up fitting to confirm all those things to get the customer set up on the bike. So let's move on now to, um, building an Amanda SLR. So I go to project one. This is the back end website that we use called Dexter. I'm going to find Amanda SLR. I think we should do how about SLR disc. I did a real expensive one last week um, for the Oh, that's the Madone. Sorry about that. Bear with me. <laughs> Picked the wrong one. This is what happens in live uh, sessions. Okay, so project one. And we're going to go to Amanda SLR. So I built a very expensive tricked out bike last week. And this week I'm just going to show, you know, something simple um, and that the price can be considerably less. So here's an Amanda SLR and this is a new paint scheme, gloss sunburst matte trip black. So it's kind of, kind of a little retro cool color. So let's pick that for frame options. You could do the H1 fit or the H2 fit. H1 is if you have a big bar drop and you were super aggressive, that fit would work for you. And again, that comes down to doing a good bike fitting beforehand to figure out if H1 or H2. Uh, basically, H2 is what most of the models 
uh, that Trek offers and sells in the Amanda off the shelf. Really, you can only get an H1, I believe, in uh, Project One right now. And then for drivetrain, we have the option of, in this case, it's just 8,000 Altegra. If I had picked another Amanda, say 8 series or 9 series, we can get other drivetrains on that. And then for components, we do have wheel options. And the Elios Comp TLR is a little bit deeper. It has a fairing. So maybe you want that in Florida, just a little bit more aerodynamic. And that's just a little upgrade in price. We can upgrade the bars if we want to. We can pick the stem. And we can pick the saddle and the saddle sizes. So from there, it really comes down to sizing. So let's just say uh, you need a 54 centimeter. You want to go with a mid compact crank. Let's say we want to do 170 millimeter for the crank size. Um, and you want a little bit smaller handlebar. And we know from the fitting that you need a 90 millimeter stem. And you have a standard saddle, that's fine. And then there's uh, stem mass caps. So that would again be depending on how large the bike is and the size of the frame. Uh, in, in your case, let's say we had an aggressive drop, we would want 175 millimeter. And for knee over pedal, let's say we need 20 millimeter offset. So again, we can save all these specs. And uh, this particular bike ends up being $5,399. So um, there's a really wide range with Project One. But the beauty is you can pick the color that you want. You can pick the size configurations you want, even for stem size. Um, you can pick the saddle size, the part spec. So it's really a good thing. Um, you can see that in this case, it's about 53 days. And you can see what's taking long. In this case, it happens to be the, uh, the crank. So um, that's pretty much all there is to it, to building an Amanda SLR. So... I will be doing a Facebook Live feed every Tuesday at 11 o'clock. I'm going to try to keep this going. So next week, I'm going to the Naples Fit Studio, and I'm going to demonstrate um, how to find the proper and optimum seat height on your bike. It's a few easy steps, and it all starts with measuring your inseam correctly, and I'll show, I'll show you some tips on how to do that. Uh, and the week after that, we have something really exciting going on. Um, Cyclops has a cool, smart trainer series, and um, their better one called the Hammer, we're actually going to demo, and they're going to have a contest. There's only 10 dealers across the country that are involved in this con contest, and it's a Facebook Live demo of the Hammer. And you can win a Hammer just by <laughs> basically watching this and uh, commenting and following the post and sharing it. So... I think it's going to be really exciting. So stay tuned. Thanks for joining in. And I'll let you know who won the Flare R. Have a great day.